What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Panini Gold Standard Football just sold out. This is a brand new release, guys. Six box half case break packaging number one. And we did have a little team random. So if you have a little character sign, that means you won that from a team random there. And uh, everybody in. So again, Gold Standard is usually one of the first early on products that uh, Panini releases where you get nice patch autographs and you know nice relics and autographs in general cards so not the super high-end products but I think these boxes are around 350 400 so kind of high-end so kind of like this like I said the first higher-end release of this new draft class so um, there's six boxes here on the left side six boxes here on the right side Let's determine which ones we're going to use here. We'll do a little quick dice roll in here. And uh, one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. And it's a one. So one, two, three. So these six boxes here will be used for the next pick your team. PYT2. Which again, we could run back if you guys do like this stuff. Or the team you purchase or won doesn't have too much and you want to secure those hits for the second half. Usually the RPA is at the bottom, so this side is the top side. And let's go with the first card right here. Look at that. How nice is that? Jokari Robertson to 49. To 55. Cowboys, Dylan. How about a nice little base of Aiden Hutchinson? And that is definitely an opulence base definitely right 18 out of 25 but looks very clean so basically i think they kind of got rid of opulence uh basketball and all that stuff and opulence in general but in football wise they kind of put them as base cards here and there's rpas america's team does that does that bug anybody that they're america's team i get it back in the day but are they really America's team now? Uh, Danny Gray to three ninety nine. Um, that's a good question. I love Devontae Smith, and I love what he does. But it's a tough question. I just I'm a, I already love him as an Eagle. Why would I want to see him leave? But would I love St. Brown to be an Eagle? Yes, that'd be awesome, right? I don't know. It's a little tough for me. If AJ Brown wasn't there, probably. But I don't know. It's kind of tough for me. Call me dumb or anything like that, but uh, that is uh, Earl Campbell. Uh, Earl Campbell. That is uh, Tennessee Titans. Chris. Tyler Higby. Ooh, that's a very nice card right there. To 49. Yeah, you're a USC fan, so I'm sure you want him on your team, yeah. I mean, Devontae Smith, I mean... So far, I mean... Amonra, obviously, last year... Started off a little slow, but I don't know if he played much last year. I didn't really see him much last year, but... Towards the end of the year, I know he had a great, like, last X amount of games. You know, Devontae played well. You know, obviously, just... In general, I don't think the Eagles passed a lot last year compared to what they did this year. Compared to what they look like they're doing this year. Desmond Ritter, very nice to 25. But this year, starting off, Amonra, of course, is way hotter than, than obviously, Devontae and a lot of other receivers. So, I mean, kind of too early to tell. Let's, let's see at the end of this year how it goes, Aaron. And you can tell me that later. But I like Devontae Smith. I think it fits in well with, with the Eagles. So... <clears throat> But it'd be different. If we didn't have A.J. Brown, I mean, then maybe I'd do it. But I don't know. I think they're both great, though. 
Velas Jones Jr. Little autograph there, patch autograph for the Chicago Bears. I don't know, but doesn't it seem like Sean that he's like kind of going on recruiting classes? <laughs> like he went to go visit Tom Brady in the Bucks. You know, he was at, in LA for the for the opener. Like it just seems like he's kind of eyeing where he wants to go, and eventually just tag on to that team. And of course, that Desmond Ritter though is going to you, Aaron. That's a very nice card right there. And then of course that uh, bra uh, Bears hit is going to Nico. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know how many, how many yards did Amonra have last year. I mean, I think, I think, uh, I think Devontae Smith ended with like 800 or almost 900. So I mean, he didn't really have a bad rookie season at all. It's just the Eagles didn't really just throw the ball a lot last year. It was all about the running game. This year, it looks like they're kind of more about the passing than they are running. So we'll kind of see how that goes this year. But I just think Week One against the Lions, they had plays designed for Devontae Smith that just didn't work out. And A.J. Brown was the one that was open. You know what I mean? That, that's just how it was. Drake London for the Falcons to 99. And Jahan Dotson, another rookie receiver that started off really hot with Carson Wentz. 9 out of 25. But this week was totally different, right? This week, I think they made it, a, made it an effort to kind of get it to Devontae Smith. And, you know, he had, you know, what, 7, 8 catches, 80-plus yards. So, But uh, I just think Wentz has so many weapons. That's the thing. I mean, not went to Hurts, I should say. He threw it like 80 yards to Goddard, 80 yards to Devontae, 60, 70 to A.J. Brown, another 60 for Quez Watkins. It's just kind of, it's going to be kind of hard for them to have those crazy stats if, if he's going to be doing that. Clyde Edwards, Alaire to 299, where I feel like Amonra, you know, he's he's basically, I mean, he is your guy, right? With, with DeAndre Swift. It's going to be interesting to see what the Lions do when Jamison Williams comes back, because he's a really good player, too. And is he going to kind of take away production from other players? Michael Pittman Jr. to 299. Because Jamison Williams is that good receiver at Alabama as well. So don't forget about him. David Chan for the Colts. Ooh, was that a Rodgers autograph? Ah, oh, just a relic. To 299. All right, and then we have Calvin Austin, little Jersey Auto, to 199. So how do you guys like these cards so far, guys? They look pretty nice, right? Seems like the cards are in good shape too. They don't don't look like they're chipping or anything like that. Sky Moore to 199. I hope not, but yeah, he's coming into his rookie year with a, you know, kind of a major injury in the sense, right? I think he tore his ACL, I think it was. Uh, that is for the uh, Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs, who has the Chiefs? Uh, Aaron, a a -Ron with that one. Aaron W. But yeah, I would figure that if he gets acclimated into that offense and they want to get him the ball, I mean... It's either they're gonna have to cover him, have to cover Monra, and then some. It's gonna be kind of like one week one's gonna have better production, the other week's gonna have other better production, depending. You know, what happens when you have two speedy, two big receivers out there. Damian Harris, and then Zamir White for the Raiders. Juanito? <laughs> I know, there is a lot of errands here. Uh, Justin Tucker to 299. I call Aaron W. Whittington A. A. Ron because I think that was his uh, his username on Instagram. <laughs> a. A. Ron. Romeo Dobes. Green Bay Packers, that's going to Josh Bruce. You have a Trey Turner, and not Trey Turner from the Dodgers. 
This is a Trey Turner for the Raiders. Miller. A. Miller with that one. There you go, Aaron. Jalen Tolbert. Number to 199 for the Cowboys. I think he's also been a little banged up, right? Cowboys, that's going to Dylan. And how about that? Aaron Miller having yourself a break. A Desmond Ritter, two, uh, two, uh, double relic, sorry, an autograph. I was going to say two color, but technically not two color. Uh, to 149. A dual relic and autograph. That'd be amazing, Aaron, honestly. They do have a very favorable schedule, but I can see them losing like five games, if not more. Just because they're rolling right now, but I don't know. They just seem to kind of lose to teams they should be beat. So, but that would be pretty amazing, though. I'd love that. I'm just like you. I don't fully trust them going that being that good. But I do expect them to make the playoffs. And hopefully win a playoff series. The 25, Kyler Murray. And Max Crosby. <laughs> Is that one of the names that uh, that uh, Keel and Peel did? Micah Parsons. I'm very real about my team, Aaron. You should know that already. I don't like to say they're Super Bowl bound. They're the best team in the league. I I feel like that all just comes back to bite you. I let the scoreboard do the talking. Just like I told you, it wouldn't surprise me if they lost to the Lions, and they almost did. You know. I don't I don't like to speak out of my uh, ASS. Damian Pierce. I know the Eagles are starting off their season strong, but it's it's gonna slow down. It, it always happens. Devontae Wyatt. Let's go into the Green Bay Packers, Josh Bruce. Pollard with a patch autograph. Yeah, I, I like to take it like one week at a time. James Cook. Ooh, that's a nice four color patch. James Cook, running back there for the Bills. Eight out of 49. Yeah, so defense played a lot better than I thought, man. Honestly, I still thought JJ was going to have a field day. I still think he was going to have like 150 yards and. And, and all that good stuff, but yeah, they definitely played better than I thought, that's for sure. I thought, just like everybody else, I think even most people on the analyst thought it was just going to be a shootout, you know? High scoring game and just shootout, but it was totally different than what I expected. guys. Two more boxes. We got Marquise Hollywood Brown and a Joey Bosa. Javante Williams gold plated to two ninety nine. dollars Got ahead of work. Nice. Alright man. Have a good day at work. Talk to you later. Broncos, Dylan with that one. And little Justin Fields, white gold. $2.99. And how about a little Malik Willis? Just a relic, though, but we'll take that. I feel like that's our second Malik Willis, I want to say. 
might have just gotten a base card maybe. Maybe not. That's a nice one there for the Titans and Chris. Mike Allstott. Ooh, look at that retro too. Golden Age. No problem, Aaron. Congratulations, buddy. A couple nice Ritters coming your way. And how about Kyle Hamilton? Whoa! One of one! NFL Shield and Autograph for the Baltimore Ravens. And that was going to Chris and... Uh, the Ravens who got that from a team random. Holy shnikes. That's a good way to start off a release day. Kyle Hamilton, top draft pick there. Defensive player as well. That yeah, that kind of looks like a football. I, I kind of have to touch the patch. Hold on. You know what? Could be a football, but kind of feels... Kind of feels like the NFL logo that's like on those those like uh, heat press jerseys. I don't know. Could be a football though, I guess. But hey, we'll take it. I'll go to the store later and buy an officially licensed football. There's a Dick's down the street. <laughs> Leonard Fournette to four, uh, 49, and then C.D. Lamb to 75. All right, last one here, guys. Saquon Barkley. He's looked like himself, right? He's been relatively good the first two weeks. I know first week he had a great week, but second week I think he still had like 80 yards or something like that plus. Jamar Chase to 299, gold-plated. But again, guys, these cards do look sharp, though. Sometimes, you know, gold standard does look a little rough around the edges, but for the most part, it looks pretty clear, pretty clean. For the Lions, Jameson Williams. Detroit going to Nicholas. Vellis Jones Jr. to 25. Or Velas, I should say. That's for the Bears going to Nico. And last one here is a Trey McBride. Nice three color patches out of 49 for the Cardinals. I believe he was our top tight end pick, right? And that's for the Cardinals going to Tim. Alrighty guys, well that was the break. Managed to get ourselves a one of one. A couple quarterback relics, including an autograph of Desmond Ritter. So quick little recap really quick there. Those Jones, some relics, relics, relics. There's the one of one there. Mike Olstad, Malik Willis relic, Fields relic, Javante, Jared Cook, or James Cook I should say, Tony Pollard. Wyatt, Pierce Relic, Mark Parsons, Base, Base. There's a Desmond Ritter. Tolbert, Trey Turner, Dobes, Tucker, Zamir White. And we had a Sky Moore, a Calvin Austin, Relic, Relic, Relic. A couple base cards there. And then Velas Jones, Desmond Ritter, Tyler Higby. This one was a really nice base card, though. Aiden Hutchinson. And then, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff here, guys. So appreciate it. This is number one. Number two is in the store. Let's run it back. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.